the first product that we had actually had a display on it. So um, that was actually a big part. So there, there was no C-Zone system without a cute display. So really it was this panel, this physical interaction with the boat. Um, switches and dials that the boat owner would have to go and you know, make sure they got in the right order. It's almost like with a manual, you know, checking these things off. Uh, then now you've got the cute display that, that's uh, thriving this instead. We're actually quite a small team in Auckland, so uh, it would be impossible to do the, the controls that we, that we have. And you're, we're actually replicating, I mean, even though it sounds like just switches and buttons, there's a, a lot to a switch, you know, especially marine switches. Is it illuminated? Is it a double pole switch? There's all sorts going on. So, uh, you know, using Qt to create these custom controls, it just simply wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to do that otherwise we can mock up an interface really quickly, show that to our product owner, show that to our customers. You know, uh, it's often in the boat world, it's all about the boat shows. You know, you, you, you know what have you got in front of the customer um, at, at each of these points along the year? Um, so yeah, to get a demo up, even if it's just a QML front end, um, that, you know, we're getting that valuable feedback really quickly. And that's really valuable to us. Even our uh, installers have a, have a configuration tool that's more technical. Uh, so we can reuse parts across all these systems and lets us be sort of small and, and nimble uh, but still have this massive reach. I mean companies normally would have a big team of people working on these apps but uh, we can sort of, it seems to be a, <laughs> almost a magic trick, oh let's do an Android version you know. It's also important to think about who's using it as well um, and your, your boat owner who owns one of these large boats, they, they may not be uh, you know Tech, incredibly tech savvy and so and they're coming from a different world where they've had different types of interactions with boats and different switches so it's, it's really important to be able to uh, make something that they're comfortable with and they like and they can use uh, and, and that's, that's where we can use Qt to create these controls and uh, really really build the best interface we can. Um, something that we can basically build once and maintain once right. Uh, that's where it's going to go. It's going to be everywhere that we have an interaction with our customer is going to be cute driving that.